Well, look at you. Impossible. You're a superhero. Good eye. I am the tick. Hello everyone, today we're delving into the world of an offbeat superhero, one who's got an uncanny sense of humor, an odd getup, and a passion for justice. Meet The Tick Created by the ingenious mind of Ben Edlund, The Tick is unlike any other superhero you've seen. He sports a bright blue suit and an antennae mask that makes him look like a walking, talking insect. But don't let that fool you, there's more to him than meets the eye. The Tick has become an iconic figure in the world of comics and animation, and we're going to figure out why. So let's get started. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you love our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. <laughs> Who is the Tick? What does he look like? Tick is the Joker of heroes. What? No, not in a psychopath criminal clown way. He is quite literally a satirical character based on American superheroes. He embraces the cliches of the genre to the extreme, from his unwavering dedication to justice to his ridiculously melodramatic speeches. While he is supposed to be a godlike savior, like most superheroes are, he's also very clueless and doesn't understand complicated stuff. This makes him different from regular superheroes. So, where did he come from? Well, the Tick has gone through different iterations and origins in various media. In the original comic book series, he was portrayed as a blue-skinned superhero with a mysterious past. However, this past was often played for comedic effect, with the Tick himself having little to no memory of his origins. In the animated series that followed in the 1990s, the Tick's origin was explored more as a parody of typical superhero backstories, with a humorous twist. He's portrayed as a somewhat clueless hero who arrives in the city and decides to become a superhero simply because he thinks it's the right thing to do. All in all, no one, not even the Tick himself knows where he has come from. Moving on, he wears a very tight blue suit that covers him from head to toe. He has a big, round, blue headpiece with antennas on it, like an insect, doing justice to his name and the world simultaneously. He's also drawn with huge muscles and always has a big, goofy smile. Well, this is disappointing. His body parts can't be damaged. No, like seriously. This dude just does not get hurt. The Tick's body is incredibly durable and resistant to damage. He has been shown to withstand explosions, falls from great heights, and even direct hits from bullets and laser beams without suffering any serious injury. The Tick's durability is never explicitly explained in the comics or TV shows, but there are a few theories. One theory is that the Tick's body is made of a super strong material that is impervious to damage. Another theory is that the Tick has a healing factor that allows him to recover from injuries quickly. Whatever the reason for his durability, the Tick's body is one of his greatest assets as a superhero. It allows him to take on powerful enemies without fear of being killed. One example of the Tick's durability is in the first episode of the series itself. In this episode, the Tick competes in a league organized by the National Super Institute. The league holds a series of trials to test the strength and skill of its members. One of the trials is a durability test. The Tick brings about a machine with a bunch of nails and hammers and basically anything hurtful and sharp that you could imagine. Guess what? He comes out of it without a scratch. In fact, the Tick even seems to enjoy the durability test. He laughs and jokes as he is subjected to these seemingly powerful attacks. The Tick's durability is also evident in his many battles with his arch nemesis, the Cherifus Chippendale. The Cherifus Chippendale has a variety of weapons and gadgets at his disposal, but he has never been able to inflict any serious damage on the Tick. That's it. Keep on trucking. <laughs> What is the role of his antennae? Well, much like insects, his antennae are super sensitive. In the episode, The Tick vs. The Terror, the Terror uses a machine to steal the Tick's antenna. Without his antennae, the Tick is unable to balance and falls to the ground. He would have even been defeated by the Terror had his son not stepped up and betrayed his dad. Not just this, his antennae seem to tingle whenever he senses danger, so they low-key work like a sixth sense as well. As much as they seem like a part of his appearance without any real role, without his antennae, the Tick is vulnerable to attacks. Huh? You call this a BLT? Where's the mayonnaise? What is his personality like? Is it any different than other superheroes? What does he like to eat? The Tick's personality is a breath of fresh air in the world of superheroes. He's like an excited kid who's always full of energy and optimism. No matter what's going on, he approaches it with wonder and excitement, which can be really infectious. His catchphrase, Spoon, adds a playful touch to his character. Underneath his cheerful exterior, the Tick is all about doing good and only good, which makes him a little different from other superheroes in a number of ways. First, he is not afraid to be himself. He is not afraid to show his emotions, and 
he is not afraid to make mistakes. Second, the tech is always willing to give second chances. He believes that everyone has the potential to be good, even his villains. Third, the tech has a strong sense of justice and fairness. He's dedicated to fighting bad guys and standing up for justice, even if the world can be a bit confusing. His innocence and endless optimism make him a symbol of hope in a world that can be complicated and gray. When it comes to food, the tech keeps it simple. He loves bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches, also known as BLTs. You'll often see him enjoying these sandwiches in various episodes and comic book stories. His choice of BLTs shows that he's down to earth. Unlike some superheroes with fancy tastes or dietary restrictions, the tech prefers the comfort of a classic sandwich over pretentious overpriced food. It fits perfectly with his easygoing and approachable character. Oh, you stole my superhero name, Parasite! I am the does he have a brother with the same name? Do they just share names or DNA? In the episode, The Tick vs. The Tick, our blue hero finds himself in a funny situation with a character who has the same name. But just to be clear, The Tick doesn't have a brother, he's dealing with a villain who calls himself The Tick. He's literally just some deluded dude. They don't even share any DNA. It all starts when The Tick and his buddy, Arthur, go to a club. There, they meet a guy named Big Shot who introduces them to his new friends. These friends get all nervous when they hear The Tick's name and mention that Barry won't like this. Little do our our heroes know, Barry is racing to the club. As Di Flitter Mass tries and fails to flirt with someone, the tick hears the story of Barry, who happens to be rich and related to the club owner. To mess with everyone, Barry pretends to be a superhero named Tick. People at the club tell him that Barry won't be there, but surprise, surprise, Barry bursts into the club, accusing the tick of stealing his name. A fight breaks out. Tick tries to pin Barry down, but Barry uses a special shield to fight back. Big Shot steps in to stop the fight and sort out the name issue. While this is happening, Arthur meets the evil Midnight Bomber in the restroom. The bomber escapes and starts planting bombs all over the club. Big Shot suggests that the Tick can keep the name, but Barry isn't having it. Another fight breaks out between Tick and Barry. Arthur tries to warn Tick about the bombs, but the doorman stops him. Tick ends up battling Barry while the bomber keeps planting bombs. Tick is getting beat up pretty bad, but somehow manages to find and get rid of all the bombs. Unfortunately, they land in the sidekick's lounge and blow it up. One last time, Barry attacks Tick. Not surprisingly, Tick easily defeats both Barry and the bomber. Fight that wild hair! Can he survive the attack of a dinosaur? Are we really surprised that the answer is a yes? Well, in one episode of The Tick, our hero faces an unusual situation. He encounters Neil, who has turned into a dinosaur-like creature. The fight between them stands out because The Tick doesn't act like other superheroes. When most heroes see a big, scary dinosaur, they usually try to defeat it by force. But not The Tick. He takes a different, kinder approach. Instead of hurting Neil, he tries to understand what happened and how he can help him. The Tick's actions show that he's all about doing good and protecting people, even if they've turned into dinosaurs. He sees the person behind the dino exterior and wants to assist. The dinosaur attacks the tick, and the two of them begin to fight. The tick is outmatched by the dinosaur's size and strength. However, he refuses to give up and keeps getting back up, even after being knocked down repeatedly. After a while, he figures that he could turn Neil back and he simply gives him an aspirin. This aspirin transforms the dinosaur back into Neil. This is different from what we usually see in superhero stories, where heroes often just fight and defeat the bad guys. The tick shows empathy and believes in giving people a second chance. Even even when they seem like a big problem, quite literally. Uh -huh. Can the Tick survive the villain's ruthless assaults on his head? Yes, he can. He hates how it feels, which is only fair, because imagine if someone kept hitting your head continuously, you would feel a little loopy, too. He can take a lot of hits to his head, and it doesn't seem to bother him much. This is a big part of his character, and it often leads to funny situations in the stories. In the comics and TV show, we can see the Tick getting hit on the head with punches, objects, and even explosives. These moments usually result in silly reactions, like his head temporarily changing shape or making funny sounds. But they don't really hurt him. However, even though the tick doesn't get hurt, he can still feel a bit dizzy or confused after a big hit. There have been some instances where he has suffered consequences from these attacks, such as amnesia, arrogance, and loss of balance. However, he is always able to overcome these challenges and return to his normal heroic self. Examining the Tick's potential weaknesses. To be fair, even his weaknesses are not meant to be taken too seriously. In fact, his weaknesses are part of what makes him such a beloved character. Let's talk about them. Even though he's tough physically, the Tick can be tricked mentally. Bad guys who can mess with his mind have given him trouble. He's super trusting, which means he can fall for mind games and tricks. He is not the smartest. He struggles with complicated stuff and can get easily confused by smart ideas. While it's funny, it also means he might miss important details or not get complex plans. Too much muscle. His first 
solution to problems is usually to use his muscles, but sometimes you need a clever plan instead of just smashing things. His habit of charging into danger without thinking can cause trouble. His impulsiveness, the tick often acts without really thinking things through. This can make situations messier or even dangerous because he doesn't stop to plan. His childlike confidence, he believes in himself a lot, which is good, but it can turn into overconfidence. Sometimes he underestimates the bad guys or doesn't see how serious things are. He's innocent and doesn't always get how the world works. This means he can have funny misunderstandings, but it also makes it tough for him in tricky situations. Marvelous Verdict The Tick is a superhero like no other. He's funny, he's kind, and he's always ready to help those in need. But most importantly, he's a symbol of hope. In a world that can be dark and cynical, the Tick is a reminder that it's always possible to find the light. He shows us that we can all be heroes, no matter how flawed we may be. So next time you're feeling down, just think of the Tick. He's a reminder that even the smallest of us can make a difference. Hope you used the video as a one-way ticket to delve into his world. We know it was a bad joke, but the Tick would have really appreciated it, okay? So whether you've been a fan of the Tick for a while or just met him today, remember that being a hero isn't just about being super strong or super smart. It's about doing what's right and finding joy in the adventure, no matter how weird or tough it gets. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the Tick's world of heroics and humor. Stay tuned for more fun explorations of pop culture and awesome characters right here on our channel. Until next time, one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.